Wie denkt dat racisme iets van vroeger is, heeft jammer genoeg ongelijk. Onze special guest van deze week wordt er bijna dagelijks mee geconfronteerd en ze schreef er een blog over. Ik wrote een blog over racisme en hoe het me heeft because want ik ben bang over de manier het niet verandert. En de volgende morgen posten ze het online en het just blew up. Ik wist niet dat het was gonna be. Uh, it was gonna be so big. Dalila Hermans werd geadopteerd op tweejarige leeftijd en groeide op in een Vlaams gezin. Maar tijdens haar tienerjaren kwam haar biologische mama opeens terug in haar leven. In mijn hoofd was het was heel clear. Ik had mijn mom en mijn dad en dat was alles. Maar mijn biologische mother, ze gaf never really gave up. En we always knew her name, we knew where we were born, we knew how to contact her if we wanted to. Those first years were a little confusing and you know, I had a mom, a great mom. So I didn't really need um, the second mom to show up and it was mm. but then uh, when I went to Rwanda for the first time, something looked familiar, something felt familiar and I felt at home right away. I saw what happened there for real. Like I saw the, the effects of the genocide and, and everything. And I realized she saved us from that. And then afterwards I had my own baby and I, you know, <laughs> I realized like no mother would give up a child without a significant reason. That's when our relationship really grew. That's when we became two mothers that could talk about everything. And so now we're really close. Person, I, I've lived here all my life. I feel very Belgian, very Flemish. There's no us and them with me. But the color of my skin is something that is a factor in almost everything I do. And that's why I, I, uh, I wrote a blog about it. I think a lot of people here seem to think that racism is a thing of the past. And if it's not directed towards you, I can imagine you don't see it. And it still happens a lot. Oh, but you were never really allowed to talk about it because people will automatically get defensive and try to shut you down. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. And now it's out in the open and people just come up to me, strangers, and start talking and start telling their stories and asking me questions. I love that it started a conversation and it's been put on the agenda and Politicians are talking about it. And <laughs> People would always say like, ah, don't, don't let it get you down. But they wouldn't tell you to stand up or to fight for yourself. I'll tell my kids to stand up for themselves every time and tell me every time something happens and we're not gonna let it pass.